giant, hairy creature. Eight foot tall, real hairy. These animals are out there just waiting to be discovered. It just stepped out like two steps across the road and then just disappeared over there into the brush. Well, down by the creek, when we saw something strange behind the bushes, and it smelled real bad. No, thank you. I noticed something just off the trail watching me. It was kind of leaning out from behind a tree, like peeking at me. I've been researching sightings of Sasquatch across this country for the last 25 years. I've found numerous tracks and had sightings on two separate occasions. People come from all over the world looking for this thing and I actually saw it. The hunt for the Sasquatch is an intensely personal thing. I find it highly unlikely that a creature such as a Sasquatch would exist today. Um, all of the evidence I've seen so far has been very ambiguous and inconclusive. I've never seen anything like that in my life. It scared the wits out of me. It scared my dog, too. I've never seen anything like it. I've been walking along here for years. These animals are out there just waiting to be discovered. And I think we're closer than ever. I, th I think it would be cool if one did exist, but I'm not going to bet my bottom dollar on it. These creatures absolutely exist. And I will prove it. Sixteen-inch track. This is one of four I personally found while on an expedition into the Uhari National Forest seven months ago. Not far from these tracks, I found the carcass of a deer. Its legs have been broken. It is my firm belief that the Sasquatch breaks the legs of its prey in order to slow it down. This shows intelligence and the rudimentary use of tools. From my 25 years of research, I have concluded that the Sasquatch follows a yearly pattern. With this in mind, we can anticipate where they might be at a particular time of the year and stand a better chance of finding evidence to support their existence. Good afternoon, John. Assistant Dean Warner. How may I help you? I believe we spoke about this before. I'm told you've brainwashed one of our AV students into going on your next expedition. If you would just look at the evidence... And John, yes. I will not discuss your so-called evidence again. I've given you enough warnings, John. You're finished at this university. I want your letter of resignation on my desk tomorrow morning. You can't be serious. Tomorrow morning. You brought this on yourself. <laughs> 
This is one of the Blue Mountain casts, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. It is. It's a copy, of course, but uh, you can still see the uh, the detail, even the dermal ridges. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. Have you seen the new video that's been circulating? Oh, uh, which one's that? It's the one that shows a Sasquatch from behind, crouching down behind a rock. It's very brief, but there's some interesting details. Your old friend Joe Horner filmed it. It's raising a lot of interest. Joe Horner. Videos are fake. Really? How do you know if you haven't seen it? I don't need to. I know him too well. Horner is only out for the money. He'll make up any story just to get the publicity. Well, what are you after, John? We all need money, especially if we're going to spend half our lives scouring the forest. Maybe Joe's video will make people take us more seriously for once. Look, I want to find definitive proof, real evidence that can't be disputed. It's because of people like Joe Horner that we're taken for fools. Well, I'm not a fool. No, John, you're not. I hear you're no longer at the university. What's happening to you, John? Nothing's happening to me. I'm fine. It's probably better this way. I can I can concentrate more on the work. You remember my old friend Jacques? He's dead. You know that his wife left him. Then he lost his job. He thought he was okay. But he was obsessed with it. He ended up making a pittance selling other people's garbage just to fund his expeditions when the money ran out. He died in this trailer. They didn't find him for weeks. Well, I'm not like that. I mean, are you saying I should just give up? John, I've wasted half my life looking for this creature. And for what? I'm practically bankrupt. I've hardly seen my wife and children for the last 30 years. The kids have grown up without me. After what happened to Jacques, I began to realise what I was doing, that it was all for nothing. How can you say that? Your findings were the best there are. You showed the world that these creatures were simple animals, a new species, not some superstitious fantasy. I mean, good God, Richard, you've, you've been my inspiration. You taught me everything I know. The search for the Sasquatch is a selfish one. We only think of ourselves. That's the truth of it. Only ourselves and the glory of finding that final proof. <laughs> Can I get you another coffee? No. Let me go. Do whatever you need to do, John. Good luck. Old friend. What's the matter, John? You know I'm happier to see me. What do you want, Joe? Did you uh, see my latest video, John? It's gone to quite a lot of interest from the uh, network. I heard about it. It was quite a thing. Amazing. 
quite clearly uh, a big fool ducking down behind a rock. I suppose you could say I was in the right place at the right time. Can I help you with something? Yes, John, I shall get right to the point. How about I tag along with you on your next expedition? You must be kidding. Me, join forces with Joe Horner, a known charlatan. You watch your mouth, John. What's the matter? You worried I'm going to bring back something that you can't? You think you know so much, John. But you don't know half of what it is that I do. Really? Well, why don't you tell everyone what you know? All you have is a bunch of secret locations and questionable videos. I mean, those face pictures, they were a fucking joke. What do you have, John? No wives? No job? No evidence? Richard Byrne was right about you. You lost cause. Richard, he put you up to this. He, uh, he worries about you. Yeah? Well, fuck both of you. Because I'm going and no one's going to stop me. Especially you. It's yours. Good luck to you, John. That's all. Right. Hey. Is it lunchtime already? Sure is. Okay, I'll just save this. Mm. Oh. Hey, John, how's it going? Really? So soon? I just didn't think you'd go out again, especially as we found nothing on the last trip. <laughs> possible footprints, John, possible footprints. If you ask me, look more like the heel of a boot. Hey, hey, uh, it's just my opinion. So when were you thinking of going? Next weekend. Well, that is soon. I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Well, I could uh, possibly rearrange some things at this end. Look, why do you even want me along? You know I'm not as ready to believe this stuff as you. Okay, okay. Look, I'll, I'll see what I can do. All right, next weekend then. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye. Lunch? When are we going to talk about this? Yeah, I know what you're going to say. When are you going to stop this, Carl? You know he's only using you to make himself look more credible. Come on, I can help him. Give him a more scientific view on his findings. You don't even believe in Bigfoot. <sighs> look, I'm a biologist. It's my job as a scientist. Even if it does sound crazy. Besides, he's a friend. A friend? He ain't no friend. I, I know what you're going to say. Ugh. You think you owe him one because you saved your life from being mauled by a bear somewhat like six years ago? But you wouldn't have even been there if it wasn't for him. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Look, you're a great biologist. And you've got a good job. He's obsessed. You don't want to be tarnished with that same brush. All I'm saying is... Just be careful.
think is dangerous. And he won't be afraid to take you down with him. I came up here last year to search for evidence of Sasquatch in the area. I've been told of a few sightings and thought they were good enough to check out. After a day of finding nothing, I decided to camp out overnight at, at this spot. During the night, I could hear something moving around outside my tent. Whatever it was, was pretty interesting me being here. Suddenly, I felt a hand brushed against the side of the tent. Without thinking, I, I slapped the inside, and that startled the creature, and I, I heard it bound off back into the tree line. For the rest of the night, I could hear it circling my camp. Next morning, I came outside to find some of my stuff knocked over and gone through. Without touching anything, I, I carefully looked around the area and found some, <laughs> found some pretty interesting tracks in the mud. I found four in total. It was as I uh, bent down to take a closer look at the track, I saw something out the corner of my eye. Whatever it was, it was big. And I mean big. It must have been about eight foot tall and about four feet across the chest. It was just standing there, watching me, half hidden behind a tree. When I turned to look at it straight on, it had gone. I hung around for another three hours, but uh, it didn't reappear. Wow, that's amazing. You must have been on a real high after that. What about you, Carl? What do you think? Well, it certainly is a very interesting story. Obviously, I wasn't there, so I can't say for sure what it was. Trust me, I know what I saw. I'm sure you believe that what you saw was a Bigfoot, but... I'm not completely convinced. Really? All I'm saying is, it could have been any number of things. You said you saw it at the corner of your eye, right? Well, our peripheral vision can sometimes play tricks on us. 
what you saw could have been a, a shadow or a branch that you thought was a Bigfoot. And when you turned to face it, it was gone. Also, how can you be sure that what brushed your tent was a hand? <laughs> it could have easily been a deer sniffing you. It wasn't a deer or a shadow. Well, like I said, I wasn't there. Yeah, I know. But I was. And I know what I saw. I could smell it. I just think we need to be logical about our findings until we can rule out a more likely explanation. Ticks all the right boxes to me. Being curious, hiding behind trees, and you found the tracks. Definitely a squash for sure, man. You know it. To be young again, so carefree. Yeah, if he pays more attention in your lectures. Anyway, we're, uh, we're about here. A couple of quad bikers saw a creature run off into the woods here, and then some footprints were discovered around here. So, uh, what do you propose? That we go along this trail here to the location? Exactly. We know the uh, Sasquatch has been active in this area for a while now. So let's just get out there and see what we can find. Great. This is perfect Sasquatch country. Plenty of places to hide, plenty of deer. Yeah, well, I have to agree. An area like this certainly could support a small group of large animals. So now you think there could be something up here? Just saying that there could be a possibility. As a biologist, I just want to find out the truth. Well, if uh, Sleepy in there gets his act together, he can video something. Yeah, if only that were true. Video can be faked. I mean, just look at the net, right? What we really need is something that a biologist can look at under a microscope, something that can be dissected. So what you really need, then, is a body. That's the only way. Just hope we stumble across a dead one. That's unlikely. I guess the only way to get one would be to shoot one. If we were even lucky enough to see one. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could do it. I mean, I couldn't actually shoot one. I'd be happy enough just to see one. At least then I know it's real. What about you? I don't know. I... I guess you can't really say until you're in that situation. It was a tough one. So, uh, what's with the rifle then? Well, uh, we don't want to run into any more bears, that do we? <laughs> okay, you got me there. Wash your hands. Something's been in our camp. What makes you say that? Well, our bags have been gone through for one. Yeah. I thought I heard something earlier. Ah, probably raccoons looking for food. You know what they're like? Yeah. <laughs> 
Let me have a go. Maybe the sh Do it again. Certainly no animal I've ever heard. I suggest we split up and triangulate the position. If we can get it between us, we have more chance of seeing it. I'll take the center. Robin, you circle to the left. Carl, you go to the right. Oh, and uh, keep your radios on. Report anything you find. Let's go. Oh, and... Uh, Keep quiet. We don't want to spook this thing. Walking in the direction we heard replies to my call. Uh, sounds pretty similar to recordings I've heard in the past. Could possibly be Bigfoot. Hopefully we can get close and find out. Okay guys, how we doing? I'm about 200 yards from where we were. Cool. Robin? How about you? Uh, I'd say about the same. I'm sure the noise that we heard came from around here somewhere. Good. How about you uh, let out one of those calls? See if we can get some. No problem. Good one, Robin. That was not me. Guys, whatever that was is very close to me. It couldn't have been more than 30 feet away. Can you see anything? No. Not from where I am. I'll try walking closer to get a look. Robin and I will close in on your position. Copy that. 
got footprints. Imagine trying to get a boot to fit that, huh? Where are they? Where are the prints? Over here. Wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. I can't rationally explain them. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. I'm guessing 16 inches, at least. 14 and a half, actually. We just measured it. 14, huh? A juvenile. Yeah. And the uh, distance between the strides is five feet. Wow. This one. This one's excellent. I mean, you can see the toes and everything. Do you know how rare it is to find prints with toe markings? This could be major. These are good. So what do you think of that then? Not so skeptical now. Overlapping bear prints, my ass. Hey, I just said I was finding it hard to explain. Excellent find, Carl. You should be psyched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, Carl. I think we can uh, get a good cast of this one here. Come on, it. I lay some twigs into the cast so it strengthens as it sets. That way it won't break when we lift it. Good idea. I can't believe how good this is. Carl? What's up? I swear something just threw a stone at me. Just then and a few minutes ago. Okay, just act like you were. Don't let it know we're aware of it. It might do something again. This is classic Sasquatch behavior. Keeping out of sight, but throwing sticks or stones at people. Why? Get our attention. See what we do. Jesus! Just relax. Holy crap, guys. Look. How far away is that? I can only guess maybe 30 feet. Must be what, eight foot tall. What is that? That, my friend, is a squatch. <laughs> this is crazy. Morgan, are you getting it? Anywhere. What about the other thing? Nothing. I can't see anything at all. 
What's he doing? I'm going in to find him. No, Robin, wait! Don't follow him! <sighs> Idiots. Sign and Morgan after we heard the shots. Let's head back before I get lost. Jesus Christ, Morgan, what the hell are you doing? I shot it. What? Are you crazy? That could have been a man in a suit for all we know. That was no man in a suit. We want proof, this is how we get it. It can't have got far. We find the body, take it back with us. No one will argue with me then. Well, you better hope to God you didn't just shoot a man. Where's Robin? The fool went after you. Oh, great, we need him to help find the body. What, are you thinking straight? If that's an animal you shot out there, it could still be alive and dangerous. I got two good shots into it. And then it fell into a small ravine. If it's not dead already, we'll be soon. Well, let's just hope Robin gets back before more of them show up. These are usually solitary animals. There shouldn't be any more around here for miles. <coughs> Is that you were saying about no more around? Listen, we need to get the hell out of here now. No! This could be an amazing opportunity for us. We could be the ones that finally prove this thing. <laughs> that must have been the one you shot calling out. I don't know. This could be a family group. The one I shot could be a juvenile. Jesus Christ, Morgan, you kill one of their babies? Holy shit. Sounds like, sounds like trees being pushed over. Gorillas do that, don't they? Yeah, they do when they're being aggressive. Listen, if that's a group of Bigfoots out there, they want us gone. We should not stay here. We need to leave now. No, wait. This could be just for show. They won't attack us, I'm sure of it. Show of force. 
whatever it was back there, once it's gone from this forest. The only problem is, the way out is back that way. Yeah. They basically herded us out of their territory. If we go back that way, they could become even more aggressive. But Robin's back there somewhere. Well, we can, we can scud around, cut them back into the woods. Hopefully we can get back on the trail unnoticed. If Robin's got any sense, he'll do the same thing and meet us where the packs are. What if we get noticed? Let's go. Let's have a nine footer. What is it? I thought I heard something. No, it was nothing. They may have already left the area. What makes you say that? These things are hard to pin down. They're always on the move. Oh, you're right. Our pack should be just up there. I need my goddamn gun. We should be able to get back to the car in an hour or so. Hopefully, Robin will head back that way too. The pack's can't be too far down there. I don't like this at all. If you know Sasquatches like I do, you know they would have long gone. Robin. We gotta find him. You can't go anywhere like that. How bad is it? It'll be fine. I'll have to bind it. Amazing. What? They use logs and rocks to disable their prey. It's just like I thought. Ah! 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 You son of a bitch! This is all your goddamn fault! What the hell did you think you were doing? <laughs> 
gonna do now? You have the goddamn expert. I have a cell phone in my pack. If there's a signal, we can call for help. We left the packs back there. You stay here. I'll go back along. Don't you leave me, Morgan. I won't be long. Just stay here. Be quiet. You come back. Robin, Morgan, is that you? Morgan? Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, Robin! Quiet! My leg. 
find the cell phone. Everything was trashed. I, I brought what I could. God. God damn it. Robin is dead. They're gonna find us too. We'll be okay. These animals are mostly nocturnal. It's, it's very rare they're so active in daylight. How the hell could you know that? Because I've been studying them for the last 25 years. Don't tell me what I know. It's because of people like you that Bigfoot isn't taken seriously. So what? You're so desperate to prove it, you gotta shoot one? What then? You're gonna drag his 800 pound carcass back to civilization? We need a body. That way, it can be classed as an endangered species and be protected. I had to sacrifice one of them. Oh shit. You've done this for your own selfish gain. You want to be the one to prove it. You're tired of everybody laughing at you back there, so you think if you take a body back with you, you can rub everybody's nose in it. Well, why the hell not? I've been shunned for years and not taken seriously. I've worked hard to bring in evidence and had the door slammed in my face and no one's taken a second glance. I've been denied promotions, I've lost my job. I can't win. I came for a body. There's one lying out there, just waiting for us. We've got to get out of here. They now see us as a threat in their territory. They're not going to let us wander around the woods looking for one of their dead. They're going to find us and they're going to kill us. We've got to get out of here. We can come back for the body at another time. This area is not going to be too hard to find. By the time we come back, they'd have moved on and it's going to be safer. Let's face it, they're not going to carry a dead body round with them, are they? I need you, man. I'm not going to make it on my own. Okay. But I'm coming back, with or without you. It's fine by me.
we must be close to the road by now. We can't be far off. This is some crazy expedition, you know. People aren't going to believe us. I mean, you really think you're going to come back here? Man, do you smell that? What is that? It smells like, I don't know, rotten meat? A really bad body odor. What do you think it is? Look, could you... Thing. But I can take pieces. Head would be perfect. But too heavy. I'll take the hand. Come back for the rest. You know what those skeptics are like. I can carry it. Trash bag. In my pack. <laughs> 
Morgan. Morgan, listen to me. Morgan! Morgan, will you listen to me, you son of a bitch? I thought you were getting me out of here. You've been walking us around in circles! It's okay, Carl. We can leave the forest now. We have the proof. We can show it to the world. I suggest we go back to the university and gather together some notable scientists. Morgan. Definitely a leading zoologist. No, wait. We'll, we'll go to the press first. I wouldn't want that bastard warned if he had the satisfaction. Damn it, Morgan. And then we can sell the rights to examine the body to the highest bidder. Ah, you piece of shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> Still get out of here. They're gonna find us and kill us because of what you've done. You were supposed to take me home. You'll bring them straight to us. You killed Robin, and now you've killed us too. You stupid moron! Wait for me, Morgan. Shut up. I'll leave you behind. It's you they want. They're gonna let me leave. They're gonna let me leave. <laughs> 
Y'all ain't got... The hunt for the Sasquatch is an intensely personal thing. At first it's simply intriguing. Then it becomes a, an abiding interest. And finally a full-blown obsession. We laughed at and taken us crazy, but some of us have had an experience, uh, an encounter that we can't quite explain. We have a driving need to prove that these creatures exist so that we're vindicated. We're normal, down-to-earth folk. We're not crackpots with wild imaginations. Well, not all of us anyway. But the public uh, and the scientists take a blind bit of notice of the evidence we present. We waste our lives trying to convince them and so far we've failed. We sacrifice everything, our, our homes, our jobs, our family. It wasn't me. Living in the shadow of Bigfoot is a lonely struggle. We're always fighting our corner and never taken seriously. But we're real people. We're not crazy. We're not crazy. Shadow in your 
cards are stacked against you, but it's time to make a stand. Why not just be different than just another grain of sand? You might believe in something real, just a shadow in your mind. You might believe in something real, just a shadow in your mind.